Yeah, so anybody that's been out here over the last 12 months would have noticed a huge amount of activity. There's been a lot of civil construction works happening across the first three stages. We've commenced our first lot of Murbach homes and we've also started the landscaping works around uh, the first park and around the clubhouse area. We've completed stages one, two and three vacant land subdivision works and that's the delivery of approximately 250 vacant land lots. We've commenced the first lot of Mervac premium and townhouses and we delivered the first 28 as by the end of June and we've got another 40 homes under construction. So that's all within the first stage. The team's well across all aspects of concreting, framing, uh, external cladding and brickwork, right through to finishes on, on the internals. There's probably about 30 homes under construction on the vacant land lots in stage one, and that's just with the purchasers selecting their own builders. So the first neighbourhood park is about to open. We're commencing landscaping works in the southern gully. Well, one of the characteristics of Tullamore is obviously the heritage. The clubhouse is going to be reused and developed as the next gen health and lifestyle club. The other element to do with the heritage is obviously the stables building. And we've been looking at that and saying, how can we actually turn that into something we can give back to the local community? What we're proposing for that is a, a cafe, and that'll be a nice local cafe, which is basic catering for the people in the apartments building and also the, the residents of the balance of Tullamore. Probably the unique nature of Tullamore is that We've started with something rather than starting with nothing. One of the challenges of a residential project is usually you're starting with a blank page and then having to build up something out of that. You're building up a community, you're having to build up a story and create a vision out of that. We've probably started the other way around where we've got a site that has fantastic natural characteristics about it. You've got heritage, you've got existing trees and vegetation, you've got topography, and you've also got an existing community surrounding the site. Challenge is to make sure we can retain those and deliver on our vision to integrate as part of that site.